talk about that Lovable is building the last piece of software. My name is Anton. I'm building Lovable. My co-founder is Fabian and we started this a bit more than a year ago. My name is Fabian, I'm one of the co-founders here at Lovable and uh, we're based here in, here in Stockholm, Sweden and uh, yeah, we're, we're a team of uh, 20 people and you know, a lot of engineers, ex-product people uh, working, working on creating this product. Me, me and Anton, we, um, we met each other at Depict, which uh, is a YC company that Anton co-founded. After a while at Depict, I, uh, I kind of wanted to do my own thing again, so I, uh, I quit. A while after that, I got a call from Anton. I, um, it was on a Saturday. He called me in the morning, like waking me up. <laughs> he basically said like, let's go for a walk. And I'm like, all right, sure, when do you want to meet? He's like, I'm, I'm outside. So I, I went down to meet him and we, we went on a walk and you know, Anthony asked me, have you heard about GPT engineer? So the story there is that I, I created, created an open source uh, tool that was called GPT engineer. And, and that's used for developers to just put in like, I want the snake game and then it spun up uh, all the files necessary and started the snake game on your computer. And uh, that went absolutely viral. We basically got to talking about like the, the potential uh, about it and uh, something we really wanted to do was to make it more accessible. And this was uh, the summer 2023. But I figured I can actually do something super large here, which is in the same way as that we're not coding in zeros and ones anymore. We're, we're not coding in uh, programming languages and soon we're, we're basically coding in, in plain English. We really wanted to bring this to um, to not just like the 1% who knows how to use a terminal but uh, to the other 99% and that was really kind of the, the start of the idea for, for Lovable. My kind of entrepreneurial journey started around when I was 12 years old. I, I ran a Minecraft server. It became somewhat of a business. And from that, I also you know, built a website for the server. And that's really where I learned how to code. But uh, really since you know, a young age, I've been helping people build software. And you know, Lovable for me has uh, really become this thing where I can uh, kind of give that skill to, to others and, and let uh, everyone kind of build stuff for themselves, to, which is something you know, I immensely enjoy myself. We had both built tech companies before and what we wanted to do was to take all these hard-earned skills to build really, really good software, we call it lovable software, uh, into an AI that could, can do it for, for everyone that's been bugging me, like my mom, my friends, that it's, it's so frustrating to not have, be able to write, create software. AI is actually going to be as good as humans at creating software in, uh, someday. So we should start now and let the 99% create software. When we started building Lovable, we figured, okay, let's just take w what's already popular and make it user-friendly. Since I arrived there uh, last summer, I think things are <laughs> incredibly different now. The product was in pretty rough shape when I joined. I was still very much giving a lot of prototype vibes. Uh, we, we did have some users and they were already pretty happy because they could see the, the power of the product. And so when, when I, I joined, one of the things I immediately focused on was trying to make this, I don't know, what you would expect for, from a, a product uh, of this type. In the, in the coming months, we had a lot of success that went a bit uh, way beyond what we were thinking, which meant that we, we had scale issues uh, very, very quickly. So guys, lovable.dev, who have amassed a whopping 500,000 users, is now down. It says at the top GitHub has suspended their connection so Lovable is completely down. Lovable is an amazing tool and I hope they can get this rectified soon. I believe we have some interesting anecdotes when it comes to scaling that uh, became somewhat viral. <laughs> yeah, so we, we launched Lovable the 21st of November. We started growing almost, almost 100k MRR, the so monthly re revenue, 
per week. And then this, this just kept accelerating and accelerating. We put a lot of load on GitHub and they had to shut us down. We, we had created, I don't know, 500,000 repos or something like that. And uh, basically GitHub just decided to shut our access uh, off. <laughs> this was in the middle of the night for us. At that point, we, you know, we just woke up to uh, this big storm of, you know, later today, you know, we, we got in contact with GitHub and we, we sorted that as well. We got in touch with GitHub and the incident solved and now, now we're friends with them. It's one of those things that a lot of people, uh, like if we go to SF now, that, oh, you're the guys that brought down GitHub. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty wild. It's a pretty wild ride, I would say. <laughs> So how has Lovable evolved from the first MVP, you know, I just hacked together in my bedroom, to what we have now when you know, we have a team of product people and like, engineers. The UI is, is very similar to what it was in the beginning. You have this chat and, and you have the preview. Behind that, there's a lot of things that have changed. A couple of months ago, we decided to rewrite uh, our entire backend from Python to Go. So while we were scaling, we really wanted to add more features. The only thing we were working on pretty much was to rewrite the entire code base. So that's what we did the last uh, eight weeks. In the beginning, it was very trivial. You just make like a request, you write some code based on that. The product is just so, so much more powerful. And I, I think that if we look back uh, in a year at where it is now, we'll also think that it's, it was terrible right now. And I, I love that we are on this exponential of capabilities. And now we're doing a lot of things around this to manage the code base you have and, uh, and also integrations to, to Superbase, for example. When we were deciding on how to build backend functionality for our users, what we saw is that many of them absolutely love the Superbase. Almost half of all white Combinator startups they build on top of Superbase. So Lovable really started just being a front-end tool. Um, and for a backend, you need a database, you need some kind of API where you can run your business logic. We wanted to make the product much more powerful uh, without really having to, uh, I don't know, recreate an entire backend on our own. And so that's why we chose uh, Superbase to supercharge a bit the ability of, of Lovable. The reason is it's like very simple to manage. It has support for almost uh, everything you want from your backend and your databases. And, and this is really where I would say our growth took off uh, even more. Since we launched Lovable, uh, we've changed a lot of things and it's really focused around improving the core experience. So, you know, we're always talking internally, like we could build these like really cool features um, for, you know, hosting and, uh, um, and visual edits, which, which is great. And, you know, uh, people love these features. And, but what I'm really focused on is uh, improving this core experience. So, you know, you have a chat, you have a preview. You, you ask Lovable to do something in the chat. A lot of the time it does it. And the times when it doesn't succeed in what you're doing, um, that's really what we're really focused on improving. We talk about that Lovable is building the last piece of software. And that means that it's the interface to all technology. Lovable is basically a superhuman engineer that you just talk to and then it comes, sometimes comes up with ideas for what you should do, or it just goes really hard on implementing exactly what you have in mind. My vision for, for Lovable is really to, you know, in a sense, kind of replace myself. And I say this in the, in the best way possible. In my career, you know, I've, um, I've built a lot of software for other people as a consultant. And, and to me, that is exactly what Lovable is doing. In the future, I imagine that it's going to be very, very helpful in understanding your users of, your, of the product that you're building and help you uh, guide product decisions. So that, that's what Lovable is becoming. Lovable is this place where, you know, anyone with an idea from any kind of uh, industry or like random app idea or whatever it is can go and, you know, try it out in Lovable, like create it. And that's something, you know, I've done personally. And just the scale of like how many you can help by me just focusing on building Lovable in, instead has been, you know, it's, it's very empowering for people. What's next for Lovable? I mean, we, we're just growing extremely fast because users love the product right now. What we're adding right now is that it's easier for users to collaborate. And we're adding the full life cycle for entrepreneurs 
which are taking their ideas and then making real businesses on Lovable. This includes things like setting up your custom domain. It also includes things like launching your product and getting users to the platform. My thinking about uh, what Lovable is going to do next is um, it's a lot about improving this core flow that we have. Lovable, uh, you know, it usually does what you want, but sometimes it doesn't. There is kind of this frontier of what AI can do currently. That kind of frontier is really what uh, I'm focused on, just keep on uh, pushing that forward. And, you know, like the last, uh, the last few months since we've launched, it has gotten a lot better at, at handling like bigger code bases and, and doing more complex things. Well, what's possible is just becoming more and more every day.